One myth is that women were never educated. In fact, there are always educated women. In the ancient world, one of them was Sappho, a famous ancient Greek poet. Another was Aglonike. She was an ancient Greek astronomer. The last great woman of the ancient world was Hypatia. She was a philosopher, an astronomer and a mathematician. Unfortunately, she was murdered in 415 AD. Some women were not well educated, but they were at least literate. In the Middle Ages, famous women scholars included a doctor called Trota of Salerno. She wrote a famous book about medicine. Another famous woman scholar was called Hildegard. She was a famous writer. In the late Middle Ages and the 14th and 15th centuries, literacy became common among the better off. Very often middle class women could read and write. One of them was a woman called Margaret Paston, who wrote a series of letters that give us a picture of life at that time. In the 16th century, two of Henry VIII's wives, Catherine of Aragon and Catherine Parr, were both highly educated. Both were respected for their learning. Queen Elizabeth, Henry's daughter, was also a highly educated woman. In those days, girls didn't usually go to school or university. Upper-class girls were educated by tutors. Middle-class girls were often taught by their mothers. But in the late 17th century in England, boarding schools for girls opened in many towns. In the 19th century, women began to go to university. In the USA, women were first given bachelor degrees in 1841. In Britain, women were first given degrees in 1880. Another myth is that only women were executed for witchcraft. That certainly isn't true. Many men were executed as witches. Some of the most famous witch trials were held in Salem, in North America, in the 17th century, and some of those executed were men. Another myth is that women didn't work in the past. In fact, they did work. In the past, before the Industrial Revolution, most people made their living from farming. And women did some of the jobs on a farm, like feeding animals, growing vegetables and milking cows. Most farmers couldn't run a farm without their wife's help. In the Bible, in Proverbs, it describes an ideal woman. And she is a working woman. As well as making clothes for her own family, she makes clothes and sells them to the merchants. It also says she considers a field and buys it. In the New Testament, there was a woman called Lydia who sold purple cloth. Some women in the Roman Empire did run their own businesses. In the Middle Ages, women worked as spinners and dyers. Others were brewers and bakers. Some women were washerwomen and midwives. In the Middle Ages, if a woman married a craftsman, she would often learn his trade and she would carry it on if he died. In the Middle Ages, some women ran their own businesses. A famous English mystic called Marjorie Kemp ran a brewery in a horse mill. In the late 18th century, the Industrial Revolution began to change Britain and it created a new demand for female labour. In the early 19th century, many women, usually single women, worked in coal mines or in factories. But in 1842, a law was passed forbidding women to work underground in mines. Women continued to work in factories, of course. In 1847 in Britain, a law forbade women in textile factories to work more than 10 hours a day. In 1867, it was extended to all factories. Two things changed in the 20th century. Firstly, in the past, it was difficult for married women to work and have jobs because there were no labour-saving devices as there are today and no convenience foods. So housework was much more time-consuming than it is now and it would have been difficult for a woman to find much time to work if she was married and had a family. But all that changed in the late 20th century 
labour-saving devices became common and it became much easier for married women to work. In the past, many jobs were usually done by men because they required a great deal of physical strength. But during the 20th century, the number of jobs in service industries greatly increased. Jobs in offices and shops and so on that don't require physical strength. They were easier for women to do. Well, thanks for watching.